next, it's a heavyweight clash between Henan Burrell and TJ Dillashaw. So here he is, no fat Tyler here tonight. Not a lot of body fat on this TJ Dillashaw, the former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. And he will go down DC as one of the best 135 pound fighters of all time. Across the board, people believe he's number 1A of one and two with Dominic Cruz. One of the best fighters the division has ever seen. A phenomenal wrestler, has very striking skills. The high kick that he landed on Kenneth Morrell was something to behold early in his first UFC title fight. And then the finishing sequence in the second Morrell fight was unreal, 20-some strikes in a row before the referee stepped in to stop it. Just a fantastic finisher and one of the best fighters 135 division ever seen. And of course, he had the two huge knockouts over Cody Garbrandt, but even the way he dominates perennial yes. contender types like John Lineker and Rafael Asuncao, Dillashaw, when he has it all going, he is as tough and out as anybody at 135 pounds. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the limit. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Lavigne. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If you just fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, TJ Dillashaw! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 9 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, Hannon the Barrel Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think they're getting the kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice straight punch there by Burrell. Just misses with the straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds the knock. Beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots in the top. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Back to his feet. Morale gets hit with a kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Dillashaw. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Just over two minutes, round one. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by Dillashaw. Relax, relax, keep your hands up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Dillashaw gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Dillashaw's back to the side control now. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strike. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Dillashaw. Big kick. Horn sound for the end of round one. Okay. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Dillashaw's kick is blocked. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Dillashaw. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't. That's a beautiful scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Dillashaw's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of strength. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, he hurt him badly, the jab. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Knee strike right to the bottom.
nature to this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He can't take any of those kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. Corral gets caught by the straight punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. For him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight for this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Straight right hand, no good. Dillashaw a very good flow, switching up the footwork here, DC. This is a guy who is a very dangerous fighter with all eight points of contact. Keep going again. Going again. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Hannon Barat. Big head kick. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Just missed with the left there. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. It's okay, keep going, keep going. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Oh, switch kick, nailed it. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect, and this guy has done his technique thousands of times. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Dillashaw. And they set. Takedown, no problem. Huge block there. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief with the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round. DC, a lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Relax. Okay, listen. Not tired. I know you got more. Ready? Ready? Fight! Oh, thunderous leg kick on it. Lifted a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. 
hurt. He's hurt really badly. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent on going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big leg kick lands. Another straight left. A oh, little single collar tie there. Nice straight punch. Right hand punch with the clinch. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. The row gets caught with that punch, his chin. Oh! He needs to start looking for the finish now because he's got it completely very bad. Dillashaw gets absolutely melted by that head kick. at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. That's a big Man. strike. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Dillashaw's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready? You ready? Fight. Fifth and final round. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Make him stop very soon. Oh, straight right. Beautiful leg kick throw. in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was high, and now he's got him hurt bad. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Precise range with a high kick. Dillashaw's pass is denied. Back to the feet now. Oh, 
All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of round number 5. Playing the winner by knockout, TJ Dillashaw! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive...